Good morning. It is Saturday morning of week four. We're excited to be out here because it's 15 above. We've been waiting for this. We're going to get a lot done today. But we wanted to answer some questions about a few things. A lot of people keep asking us, uh, why did we pick the spot that we did? Well, let's give you a little background. Uh, five years ago, we dug a shaft right there. And when we dug that shaft, we went down 27 feet to bedrock and it was all frozen the whole way down. But what we're worried about at our current shaft is this. This is overflow. This is what happens when the groundwater can no longer travel beneath the ground. And so it has to run on the surface. And the dangerous thing is this all this ice, we can drive on that. That's not the problem. But wherever there's snow oh. is water. Oh, Jesus. So there you have it. Now I'm wet. Oh, nice. So if you drive over that with your snow machine, you'll sink and you might get stuck and you might not get out. And it's a real hazard out here because everywhere right now that there's snow is that same water. And it's making for some dicey conditions. So now that my boots wet, we're going to have a real lovely time. Nice morning bath. So anyway, why did we choose the spot we did? Well, this spot we thought was in the middle of this valley. This is a different valley than our current shaft. And we thought this was more or less the middle of the valley, but it's not. We actually got a drone out here and flew around, and it turns out that we didn't really seek the middle of the valley. We were kind of off to one side, which is why we didn't really hit a pay streak. Um, or there's just not much gold coming down this creek, but it was pretty obvious from the drone flight that it was not the middle. I wouldn't expect to find it here. The pay streaks are narrow. They run right down the middle of the valley most of the time. So for the current shaft, we flew a drone and we took a look at the symmetry of the valley and we tried to choose a spot where the creek meandered away from the middle of the valley so that we had a higher chance of getting to the middle point because that's generally the deepest point and that's where your ancient placer deposit's gonna be, at least on this creek. So, hope that answers a few questions. We got about a mile snow machine ride to do. I'm gonna put my boots on the wood stove, see if I can get them to dry out. All right, let's go. All right, made it to the shack. Gotta get a few things unpacked. Gotta get the wood stove going. We're gonna get our Starlink put up. And I think our generator will probably start in these temps, so. Uh, we're going to put the new battery in it. We're going to get that going. And then Dominic's grandpa's coming out to help us cut some firewood. That ought to be interesting. All right, so here's what we're worried about. You see the creek. It's quite the glacier now. Deep down in the snow. Yeah, I'm not there. Down in the snow with water running. <clears throat> and it's only a few feet below the edge of our shaft. If it keeps rising, it's going to flood in. So we might have to figure out a way to seal it out. I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that. It's pretty hard to control water. It wants to find every little low spot. Well, we got a big deep hole inside of that box. So we might have to scratch our heads and think about it for a second. All right, our next mission is put this new battery in our generator and replace the battery that's dead and frozen. Should only take a second. Batteries in. Will it start?
to our daily routine. We gotta clean out all this stuff. soon. Yeah. Getting down there. Casualty of war. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> I am hungry. Rocky. Yeah, cool. Yeah. There's a patch of rusty stuff here. Um, let's catch some of this stuff in a bucket and we'll throw it in a pan yep. and then maybe we'll start getting some water heated up. Yeah, <clears throat> okay, we're down in the hole and we're starting to hit a little bit of a color change, possibly. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but there's some <clears throat> kind of some rusty material here and those kinds of things are what we're after <clears throat> except you see a whole layer of gravel that's that color and that indicates a major layer change and a lot of times that's where you'll start seeing some gold is in layers like that but uh, this stuff's still not rounded you know, it's very angular it's all frozen <clears throat> as you look up the wall of the shaft you can just see the smoothness that the hammer makes, that's all mud. Just nothing but mud. And then there's little seams of gravel in here. Not really gravel. It's all colluvial material. It's just pieces of bedrock. And some of them have a bedding plane. And then it kind of quits. And then there's more mud. Lots more mud. And then there's another little seam of gravel. You know, each one of these is some weird little flood event. Not really modern times flood with gold moving down the creek, but, or I should say ancient, uh, ancient with gold moving down the creek. They're more modern, um, <clears throat> around the ice age. And then right here, pure mud. Look at that. It's just silt, powdery silt. And you got rocks suspended inside of that silt. And there hasn't been any creek in this. 
you know this stuff is moving down by way of uh, freeze and thaw action uh, this is, might be windblown silt it's not evidence of any gold deposit that stuff's way down deeper so <clears throat> we're gonna keep going down looking for color changes hopefully we have something worth panning today all right here's the pan from the little rusty seam we found just a little bit ago really hard to see, but yeah, if there was any gold in here, it'd be just a couple colors and it'd be very small. <clears throat> but it rolls away so it can't be. Keep digging. So a few people have mentioned maybe trying a different bit. Um, we've tried the spike bit in the past, uh, but you know, most of this material is frozen muck. It tends to drive in and then stick. But you know, it's getting a little bit more rocky, so we'll give it a go. Anything to increase production at this point. Spike's not doing too great. Is it digging? Uh, Try little drives. Yeah. Just like rattle it, move it, rattle it, move it. It's just slow. We hit a this, slow? this clay layer here. Okay, well that's a good sign. Yeah. If we hit that layer, that means it's going to change over that. Okay. See, we got this clay layer here. Big change in the material. This spike bit's not doing too great in it, though. It's kind of getting hung up in the mud. We're down in the hole. Things are getting a little bit more exciting. Uh, we're starting to hit actual gravel. Give you guys a little look here. So, some color changes have started to happen. Back in this corner, there's a seam of clay. Kind of hard to see, but that's all just clay. And it was a couple inches thick. I don't know, about four inches thick. I think I see some gravel stuck in it. Um, and that's nothing to get super excited about. Uh, we're a long ways from bedrock, so you know the gold's not going to be sitting way up here. But you know, starting to find gravel is definitely worth getting interested in. And uh, you know, some of this stuff, these are rounded little pebbles. You can see here, I can kind of scrape the stuff off. You know, that's been in the creek. And where the creek went, the gold got concentrated. And so there's like this little lens right here of a whole bunch of round, water-worn pieces. I thought that was wood. No. So anyway, uh... Getting more interesting, we'll probably pan some of that. I don't expect a lot this high up, like I said, but uh, it's still interesting, and you know, where we start hitting the gravel, that's where things only get better from here. Might even find a bone or something neat. All right, we'll be back. All right, here's the gravel from uh, the newly found gravel pocket you just dug up. You can see all these rounded rocks. We are going to pan this soon, and we will update you on if we find anything. Alright, so we hit some small gravel. Looks 
see it here. That's a pretty nice rounded rock. Not all of them are rounded. A lot of them are somewhat rounded. That one's fairly round. You know. So, there could be some gold in this. Maybe. So let's do a pan. Let's see what's in this. There's some heavies in here. Those are garnets. Little pieces of garnets. And, oh man, there's a piece of gold. Look at that. It ain't big. It's not a lot, but it's a start. That, if you can see it right there, that is gold. Where did it go? Right there. I don't know if you can see it. What else do we have in here? There's a whole stream of heavies. I don't know what they are. There's black sand, there's white sand. Another piece. Yeah, there might be two in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There. I'll switch to the clean pan. We'll see them better in this one. So at this point in the shaft, give me one more. We'll start stockpiling all this material that does have gold in it off to the side. And in the spring, we'll sluice it and evaluate it. Because depending on how much gold it has, it might be worth mining. But if it doesn't have enough, we'll be pushing it off to the side. This pan doesn't have as many scratches in it. Heavies. That's a garnet. That's a garnet. Little pieces of them. <coughs> and this is all garnet sand. Shine your light. You can see the trail of garnets here. Garnet, 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 garnet. It's kind of cool. Garnets are heavy and so is gold, so when you find garnets, generally, you've dug down far enough. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I see more than one piece. Yeah, at they're, least, they're tiny. At but least two. I think I see three. Oh, yeah. Now, three tiny pieces of gold is not mineable at any scale, but we will note it. I think it's two. Yeah. <clears throat> that one's kind of flaky. Probably can't see it. Is your camera zoomed in all the way? Yeah. It's not focused. No. <clears throat> okay, well, that's what we're looking for. We just need a lot more of it.
Hello? Alright. We're gonna knock off for the day. What do we got? Seventy-five. Seventy-five, yeah. Wow, you took a big chunk out of there. Okay, seventy-five inches. And then we just took a pan from this side. Final pan of the night. Yep. Still quite a bit of clay on this side, but we're finding more rounded rocks over here. So, hoping we might find a little bit more gold on this side. Hope so. Seeing that, that's gravel. nature of frozen material. Look at that. Just pieces of rock suspended in mud. That's what we're digging in. Jeez. Most of that was sand and mud, not really gravel. There's not much left. Certainly got more character to it than before. Is that a big garnet? I'm not sure what that is, but it's looks big. Just a little bit of water. Bail out just a bit. Yeah, that's a bit.
The rocks that make it to the very end of the pan are sometimes interesting. I see garnets. There's a color. And I think I see a piece of our blade of our jackhammer. Sure. That's gold right there. <laughs> Little pile of garnets in there. There's one gray, silvery, heavy thing. I don't know what that is. Hard to say. Oh, that might be part of the hammer. Yeah, look how shiny it is. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's a piece of metal off the blade from the jackhammer. Yeah, you'll find those. Okay, well, uh, oh, there's a second little color in there. One, two. <clears throat> We're going to keep holding out for bigger colors once it can show up on the camera. Okay, two colors. <coughs> Back tomorrow for more.